Interactive Reports Detail View When Apex was first being developed, interactive reports weren't available. As the product matured, features were added to provide the developer with more flexibility. Apex 4.1 introduced the Detail and Icon View to interactive reports. A great example of this online is using the Apex blog aggregator apexblogs.info, which now redirects to our ODTUG. So this is an example here of an interactive report, which is essentially displaying a list of blog posts. We can look at another example in the sample database application. This provides a list of products in an interactive report, which appears as a typical report, using the detail view laid out a little bit differently, or in the icon view as a list of icons. And we can use this sample application as a reference point on how these sort of interactive reports are built. So if we go to the interactive report for this sample application, we can see there's the icon view, which sets up the icon view with various column information. So there's a column called detail image with no style. And in the detail view, it's also set up before every row, some styling information. For each row, it lays out a table setting exactly where certain columns need to appear. And after each row, it closes off that table and finishes it off to make it look nice. We can do the same thing in our own products list. We don't have images, but we can adjust the detail view to make it look a little bit more exciting. So go down to your interactive report and modify the region attributes. And go to the detail view and let's enable this. Before every row, we're going to open up a new table. And for each row, the table is going to include things such as our category, subcategory, our list price with certain styling over the top of it, and each row is going to be finished with a closed table. And finally, we'll configure the interactive report to show this by default. So with the execute when page loads, set this greport.data.view to be detail. So now when we run this report, this page, the report sets to view detail by default. And we see the detail view as something a little bit more creative than the standard tabular form. So we see our category shaded here, subcategory with their name, and a slightly larger cost in italics. This means that you aren't limited to long-standing standard output you've had for your reports. You can potentially use interactive reports to build pages that don't even look like an interactive report. The next video will look at using BI Publisher.